Boys and girls, sometimes in math, you can learn more from playing a game than you could by listening to your teacher tell you something. Today, we will play a game called Takeaway. After we finish the game, we'll talk and reflect on our learning. Hey, Jackson, would you be my partner to show the class how to play this game before we start? Sure. Thank you. All right, this is the game board we're working off of right here. It's normally a five player game board. Since there's just the two of us, we'll just work off player one and player two. I'll be player one, you can be player two. Now the goal of this game is to be the first person to take away all of your circles, but you can only touch your own circles. So I'll only be touching the pink circles and... I'll be the cream. All right, so everybody's going to start with 12. Let's start by removing the sticky note. And when I remove it, it is the first card under it is how many uh, circles I will take away. Remove one half of my set. So I have a set of 12. The first thing that I have to do for my game is I actually have to show all the players what I am doing um, to figure out how I know how much one half of 12 is. So I will have to put my 12 or I will have to partition my 12 um, into halves. So right now I'm working on equally partitioning my 12 into halves so I can figure out what one half of 12 is. All right, and they are equally partitioned. So Jackson, what is one half of 12? Six. six. So let me take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I just showed um, all of my teammates how to um, fair share or partition my 12, but I also have one more step to do. I have to write either numbers or words to uh, show everybody what I did here. So one half of 12 is six. All right. And Jackson, it is now your turn. Oh, sorry, let me just slide my card over to the discard pile. And this next card is yours. Remove one circle out of 12. Okay, so just remove one circle. So this time you're not removing a fraction of the set. You're just removing one circle. And then, oh, good job. Now your next step is to write some sort of either numbers, words, or a combination of that to show what you did here. How many did you have to start with? Twelve. Okay, and then what did you just do here? Um, I took one out of twelve. You, so you took away one? Yes. Okay, so go ahead and um, however you want to write that, you can start typing. It's ready. It was ready for you to start typing. No, you, this isn't a fraction here, Sweet Pea. So what you're going to do is this time you're not removing part of the set. You're just taking away one of your objects. So before it told me to remove one half of my whole set. This time you're only taking away one. So you, minus one. Exactly. Good job. I know that's confusing for a lot of people. So I'm glad you um, went through that so everybody can see what they will do when that same thing happens to them. All right. That's it. And then you can just click out of it. All right. So I'm going to move your card over to discard. And here is my next one. Remove one fourth of my set. Let me get this out of the way. And I'll when it's my turn, I can just delete this um, these numbers or these words, and I can make a new sentence. We don't need to keep all of the um, recordings there the whole time. So okay. we'll remove one fourth of my set. So I need to get my set into four equal parts. So I could figure out what one fourth of six is. Ooh, am I able to put six into four equal parts? <clears throat> No. no. So I, at this point, I would just lose my turn and it would go back over to you. All right. We're going to stop right here. So boys and girls, you can play this game. Keep playing until one player on your board has taken away all of their circles.